Hi everyone, uh, just a quick video on a um, little customization you can do with your Windows Phone 7 device. As you can see on the home screen you have all your um, basic tiles and one of the gripes with the operating system is that when you start pinning stuff that you use a lot to the home screen, uh, as you can see there's a fair few applications there, they, they start to fill up the... Uh, fill up the screen here and um, it'd be good to have a uh, separator or something like that so I found quite an easy way to do it um, if you have a look at this here this is actually a, a website that I uh, I've pinned to the, um, to the home screen you can see if I tap that it actually launches the browser and goes to the website uh, just put in uh, portrait mode there and as you can see, uh, there's also another website there. Uh, but this comes in quite handy. So what you can do is you can launch the browser. And what we'll do is we'll go to a website that has a bunch of black. Okay, as you can see there's a website with quite a bit of black. And what you want to do is just zoom in. Now this works best on an OLED screen, but it'll work the same on an LCD display. Um, it's just a lot better on this because uh, the blacks are much blacker. Um, and once you've zoomed into a part of the screen that you want, uh, you can actually use this as a uh, separator. So what you do is you just slide this up and then you click pin to start. As you can see, it's been moved to the bottom, so you can't actually see it, but it is there. So if I hold my finger down, that's it there. And what I'll do is I'll just move it up. And what I want to do is make a separator just here between photos and the main stuff. And what I might do is actually go back into the browser, press back, and pin another one to the start screen. You can see there's another one there. And I'll move that up, 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 and I'll put that just in there. So now you can see, if I go back to the home screen, that I have only four tiles, and when I want to use more, I have more there. Okay, now there's also uh, another quite cool thing that you might find uh, interesting, is that you can do the same thing if I type in... Uh, something for instance uh, really doesn't matter I'll, I'll type in um, moon because moon looks quite quite good on uh, on an OLED, OLED display because the backgrounds are black so what I can do is get a picture like this actually this one looks a bit better so I'll open this one up and view the full size Wait for this to load, it's quite a large image. But that's fine. And what you can do is select, actually select half the image. So what I'll do is zoom in a little bit more. Select oop, half the image there, which is more than half, and I will go pin to start. Now you can see I have the corner there. Now if I go back, move across to just a bit more to there, pin to start. I have the other half of the moon. Now I can go to... Now this might not work. If the image was a little bit bigger, um, you might be able to actually move up a little bit more and have the full image. But the idea behind it is that you can have custom images sitting on your home screen. As you can see, uh, down here I actually have a, um, a moon. And now that might, that might look quite cool if I put it right up the top. Let's say, if I put that uh, there, and then uh, this one, move this one up here. Uh, keep going up. Keep going up. 
Keep going up. Come on. Okay. Now you can see there's like a a moon there. Uh, I might actually move that down here because that'll look pretty pretty awesome. If it's so, as you can see, there's a few little things you can do, and you can have like a custom uh, custom home screen pretty much. I mean that looks pretty pretty cool. So there's a few things that you can do like that um, just by going to the website and um, pinning what you want. Um, I mean you can do, they're not live tiles, they're static, but you could even um, go to a website and uh, you could for instance write up a few notes and then just zoom in on the note pin it to the start and then you have your note sitting on the start so um, it's another, another little tip for you Windows Phone 7 users thank you